what's up guys welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be talking about why uh charcoal burning or deforestation still remains uh a very big issue here in my country zambia i was reading the index i've forgotten if i remember it when editing the video i'll put it zambia is like i don't know number what in the whole world uh, in terms of deforestation, there is a heavy deforestation in Zambia. Even after the formation in Zambia, there is a new ministry when the new government, which is just slightly over one year in office, uh, came in. They formed a ministry called the Ministry of Green Energy. Now I'm going to tell you why the Ministry of Green Energy is so useless. It's so useless such that it won't work because here i'm going to tell you so this is the video for today so make sure if you are new on my channel subscribe turn on the bell notification give this video a thumbs up my name is travel Tenement. all i do is to bring you news from zambia i travel places as well to show you the beautiful size side of zambia which western media which you will never see before that is what i do guys now here's the thing uh when the previous government left there are certain ministries which were scrapped off which the new government felt they were useless things like the ministry of gender there is the ministry of religious affairs i too felt certain ministries indeed they were useless and i commend this new government by the way uh some people may say am i bitter against the president no in fact i love the president uh, I even voted for him. Again, I'm emphasizing, but I'm not a praise singer. A praise singer are people who support the president. Whether they do wrong, they will support. The president does right, they will support. I'm not that kind. I only, when it's not, uh, when the president is not doing well, I criticize. So it is a constructive criticism. That's what I do because. I'm not aligned to any party, whether the opposition or the ruling party. Even if there was another, if there was another election again, to vote for the previous government or to vote for President HH, I would still vote for President HH. Now here's my criticism: why the Ministry of Green Energy is so useless? I'm sure most of the time the Minister of Green Energy will even wonder who is going to the office with no clue what he's going to do. Over one year, there is nothing we have seen like other ministries. We hear Minister of Finance, Minister of Commerce, Minister of Energy. They are talking about their jobs. Minister of Agriculture, yes, they are talking. Oh, farming inputs are late here. The Ministry of Energy, a little or zero, which is happening. Why? Number one. For example, deforestation is really on the increase. Even when I go to the farm to visit my mother, all neighboring farms, except my mother, I think it's because my mother used to be a teacher. She served in government for close to 30 years. So she retired at the farm. But the farm was there from 1989 when my father, before he passed on, he got that farm, large farm. The areas where they don't do agriculture, yes, they are not trees because that's where they are farming. But the areas, other areas, my mother, because she's civilized, she has still kept a forest at her farm. The same trees we found in 1989, count the years I was there, 1989 till now, 2023, they are still intact. It's a forest. She has preserved it. But the neighbors in the neighboring villages, they have cut down trees, massive cut down to make charcoal. Either they invite people from Lusaka who go to those villages and start making charcoal, you know, burning charcoal, which is coming here for sale. Why is charcoal uh, selling so much? One of the reasons is the same reasons we are talking about. There is um, charcoal here. You can buy small plastic like this, which can fit a brazier that can do for a meal and that may cost five kwacha you can cook your shima and you cook your your vegetables or your relish with just one five kwacha charcoal for your entire family that is just five kwacha i don't know how much that one is in dollars others may double it 
it may go to 10 kwacha. Now, here is the reason why I'm criticizing this government over the Ministry of Green Energy. Charcoal burning is on the increase. But they are saying the Ministry of Energy have seen where they were going to places. They are stopping people from, you know, stopping. They are discouraging. They are maybe going to places where they are burning charcoal, telling them, stop burning charcoal. But those people, the reason is, okay, of course, unemployment, although it may not be an excuse, but the major thing is the consumers, the people who are buying charcoal. As we are buying charcoal because load shedding has gone to another level. We find that you have 12 hours load shedding and you need to cook using uh, stoves. We find that you can't use a stove. So what do you do? You go and buy the same charcoal for 5 kwacha or 10 kwacha. What is the reason why people use charcoal? It's because charcoal is cheaper. That is number one. Charcoal is cheaper. The second reason is because they still supply. If demand is cut, I mean, if supply is cut, there will be no one to buy. But that is not the reason. In spite of them saying charcoal has like become illegal or whatever, charcoal still comes and they still, uh, you still find it. You just move two minutes from my house, there is charcoal available for sale pre-packed. So, where is the failure? The failure is... Uh, when this ministry was made, the government and this ministry never worked hard to find a solution. There are people who can't even cook using electricity, but they use charcoal. What should have government done? Government should have found an alternative. We had an alternative. There was ads running on TV for months and months discouraging people from using uh, charcoal and start using like gas. Now, here's the thing. Gas, when you compare gas and charcoal, gas is still expensive. But I have a solution which has not, I have not seen these so-called technocrats who are just getting salary from the treasury and yet doing nothing. What do I mean? In the month of August to September there, I attended the Agriculture and Commercial Show. I did a video where there is what is known as the biogas digester. Biogas digester is the cheapest form of energy. They use almost the same gas which they use. for. You can use a gas stove, which can be one plate or two plate or even a stove. You can make a biogas digester in villages. The people who are cutting down trees in the city, they could do the same. I showed a video where it is cheaper instead of damaging our environment by finishing trees, cutting down trees every single day. You can use a biogas digester. So biogas digester uses things like cow dung. If you go to villages or pig manure or, or goat manure or chicken manure, can you imagine? Go to every village, every village, almost every household has either got any of the animals I've just mentioned. Goat, chickens, cow, uh -huh, cattle they have, or chickens, whatever. They have manure. They just need maybe half a bucket or quarter a bucket every day of manure. And then they add a little bit of water. It becomes like slurry. Then you put in the biogas bio digester. So as long as you do that every single day, you are free. And, and yet the gas stove will produce more power. It, it produces more heat than even an electric stove. Did you know about that? It is being done. That one can be done manually, teach the people. That is what the ministry would have been doing, making an alternative. Now they have no alternative. They are telling them to use something expensive and just say, stop cutting down of trees. Stop cutting down of trees. No one will ever listen. So it is first finding the people an alternative source of energy. That way they win. Otherwise, I'm sorry, that is the honorable Bonzovu, the ministry of... Um, uh, the ministry of uh, the minister of green energy, <laughs> the useless ministry, sir. The minister of energy, I know him, he's the member of parliament. Actually, where my mother lives in Nangoma, he's the member of parliament for Nangoma constituents. There is a heavy deforestation, even in your constituents, honorable minister, sir. You even know it, 
but why haven't you done these things? Last year, the vice president, in fact, when I was visiting the biogas digester stand, I was with the vice president two meters away from where I was standing. At certain instances, I had one meter and they were explaining, Madam, your, uh, uh, your honor, the vice president, this is the alternative which Zambian should shift to. You can either buy a bag which can be used in the city or even in the village. But why is it not working? This is what I always say. Politician, when a politician is making a speech, never take literal. It doesn't matter. A politician, there are few things when a politician is talking which you should listen. Because there is talk, 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 talk. When I was born, I found President Kaunda. Kaunda, there have been speeches about deforestation. Now, those were in the 80s when I could remember President Kaunda. In the 80s, in 90s, 2000, now 2020, more than 40 years ago of my days here on earth, speech about deforestation was there. But every year, deforestation keeps increasing. Why? Politicians talk too much and act less. The idea I'm giving is the simplest. The other one, we have Mamba Koreas, for example. There is too much coal in Zambia. Maybe government could find a way of getting the charcoal, converting it into bricks, which can be put. It is much better to use the coal. And they put them in bricks. Make it affordable for people. To say ordinary people can also buy charcoal, make it bricks, and they put it on. I saw somewhere where they were demonstrating how they grind, you know, coal. One brick and put it, you can put it on a brazier and it can cook all your meals at a, at a go. You can do maybe one for lunch, one for supper, which is much, much cheaper. By using the same coal and processing it and make it available for cooking than finishing our trees. This is where our governments miss it, ladies and gentlemen. We have plenty of forests, but whether they are telling people to plant trees, no, let's plant trees, good idea. But what are you doing to stop the trees? As long as there is no alternatives, using coal as a source of energy or for cooking, or number two, using biogas digester. Biogas digester are far cheaper than even buying gas because every month you need to take it for refilling or every week or every two months which is still a cost because even a small cylinder like this you find that it will cost a lot of money for an ordinary person a big cylinder i can imagine that is even much more expensive so gas is still expensive that's why people are not using gas especially with this load shedding the charcoal business is on the rise and is booming I hope I have uh, told you something. Comment down below. What do you think should be the alternative source of energy for people? We are using electricity because they say electricity is expensive. Gas, I'm telling you from experience, it is expensive. That's why people use charcoal. How can government stop charcoal burning? It is by making sure that you empower the people who are using charcoal. Thereby, so charcoal really finishes the forest. You go on the road every day, you still see trucks, especially in the night. Trucks are coming in every, every single day. If they are arguing, why is it that when you go by the market, you still find bags of charcoal? That's my, that's my video for today. I'll see you in my next one. If you are new on my channel, do me a favor, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. It's a rainy season and it's raining heavily and the sun has just come out now. Okay guys, see you in my next one. Peace. Adios.